shit. going on everybody and welcome back to another video. What you just saw was a brand new upcoming first person shooter called Shots Fired, which is extremely early in development. It's being developed by a, a, a one individual. One man is developing this game and I have to say I, I do like what I see. Obviously it does look very early in development just based off of the animations and some of the gun models and stuff like that. However, it still does look pretty good, at least in my opinion. And this guy actually reached out to me and he asked me if I'd be willing to do voiceovers for this new game. And I'll be honest, I'm actually quite intrigued. I might actually take him up on that. It does look really cool. We don't have a lot of games that kind of jump into this sort of, uh, I guess, uh, police officer, law enforcement officer responding to a shots fired in an active shooter. And I think that's pretty badass. And it's uh, something that I didn't think I would see, especially not from, you know, other developers out there, the big companies and stuff like that. So uh, being able to, to see a game like this and not just a mod is really cool to me and I'm definitely looking forward to checking out more of this uh, of this game called Shots Fired. Now he has confirmed uh, when I was talking to him, I believe he said there's at least three missions that are completed and he said he's working on a demo version or a playtest version right now. So we might be able to get our hands on that and get some more gameplay, some more content out there for you. Because again, I, I do like the way this looks. This looks very interesting and I'd love to see this progress in the future. And again, we don't really have law enforcement shooters out there. We got Ready or Not. We've got some other uh, games that are kind of like around uh, SWAT and stuff like that. Uh, but it's very rare to see uh, like shots fired, active shooter type scenarios uh, that's focused around that in a game. So this is really cool. Now, I don't know if the game is going to force you to be kind of in this true body cam view, this mode, this centered uh, body cam. However, it does look realistic. This is actually the, the probably the most realistic body cam type gameplay that I've seen. Uh, I'd like ready or not, for example, you guys have seen my videos with the reshade and all that. It looks cool. It looks really cool. However, it's, it's not realistic. You're not going to have a body cam you know, on your head or, you know, in your, on your neck or something. Being able to see and play this game in this kind of true centered, uh, you know, chest level view might be difficult, but it does look cool and it's actually extremely realistic. Uh, but I do not know if there's going to be multiple different views to be able to play this game and, uh, you know, have like a true style first person shooter and then a body cam uh, view as well. I think it could be cool if they did both, but I also wouldn't be against only being able to have like the body cam view. It would make this shooter very unique. Either way, there's really not a lot to go off of here. I wanted to show off this gameplay to you guys, and obviously in the future, when I get my hands on the demo or the playtest, whatever I end up getting, I definitely want to go through and uh, showcase some more content, because this does look really good, and I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see it progress. I'm curious to know what you guys think, though. Let me know down in the comments. Either way, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. I'll put the link to the original video down in the description. You guys can go over there and subscribe to uh, his channel, where he's going to be developing and most likely putting up videos on development progress. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm, ex I'm extremely excited to see where this goes. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.